Hi there, I'm Dr. Jenny, and today we're headed out to the farm to meet one of Hannah's STEAM heroes, Tyler Froberg. Are you ready to hear how you can rebuild the world with agriculture? All right, Tyler, take it from here. Thanks, Dr. Jenny. Howdy, I'm Tyler, and I'm a fourth generation farmer. Welcome to Froberg's Farm in Alvin, Texas. I'm so excited to show you how my job as a farmer is a STEAM career. Here on our farm, we grow a wide variety of different fruits and vegetables, from tomatoes and strawberries to watermelons and blackberries. From the outside looking in, our farm looks like a pretty typical farm. You have a windmill in the yard and chickens by the house. However, we're completely different from most other farms. While we do a lot of large farming, we also invite people to our farm to shop in our grocery store, to pick their own fruit in the field with the ultimate goal of educating our community about how their food is grown and where it comes from. Everything in the grocery store starts with a seed. And that seed is started on a farm somewhere. From there, it gets planted into the field. And for a certain period of time, it's nourished by the farmer. When the time finally comes, that product is harvested and then processed. It could be washed, packed, put into a container, and eventually it'll end up on a truck. From there, it goes directly to the grocery store. In every STEAM career, innovation is important and agriculture is no different. Our farm is unique, not only in what we grow, but in the problems that we face. So every day we come up with new ideas and even new inventions to help make our life on the farm a little bit easier. So at the beginning of the field, we plant a pollinator row of flowers to attract the bees to the field. One thing that's extremely creative is our pruning and trellising system. Most traditional blackberry orchards either don't trellis or they do a single wire. What we've done is borrowed a grape trellis to create a double trunk system, which results in heavier fruit production because we have more branches. Farming has lots of challenges and lots of ups and downs and ultimately the weather impacts us the most. So just yesterday we had absolutely beautiful weather and this looked like a field of strawberries. We picked hundreds of gallons of fruit out of here, but today with heavy, heavy rainfall coming, we actually covered the field to prevent bruising on the strawberries from the heavy rain. My steam superpower is resilience. A few years back, we had a record breaking freeze come hit our farm where we lost almost every single citrus tree that we had growing. And some of these trees were upwards of 30 years old, but we didn't let it affect us. We simply pulled the dead trees up and began to replant. And that's truly really what it means to stay resilient. Like with any other small family farm, over the last almost 100 years, we've seen every up and down that any farm could see. But because my family stayed resilient, we made it through and we're still here today. For me specifically, communication is an extremely important skill. Every day we try to push agriculture education on social media all across the world to express the importance of the food that everybody eats. Through social media, we could potentially reach hundreds and thousands, maybe even millions of people. But ultimately, the goal is one. Each one of you sitting in the classroom has the potential to feed thousands of people. You see, small steps lead to big change. Farming is so rewarding. And when you sell produce like we do directly to the end user, the most rewarding part of the job is seeing people enjoy the food we grow. Having a STEAM career means you're a problem solver. As a fourth generation farmer and previous agriculture science teacher, I love to show people where food comes from. And not just that it comes from the farm, but what it takes to grow it. I even train veterans how to grow food in a food desert. Did you know that there is a ton of technology used on the farm? Like our summer pea picker. Most food is picked by machine now. Machines can be effective at harvesting because they're quick and they save on time. However, sometimes the food is too delicate to be picked by machine. This is the case for strawberries. Every strawberry in the world is picked by hand, and it takes about 30 minutes to pick a whole row of strawberries. I need the right tool for the job, and I need your help. Can you help build a solution? 
Great. It's time to innovate to make a strawberry picker that will automate this process. Remember, the strawberry picker you design needs to be able to care for those delicate strawberries and not to squeeze them too hard. It needs to be able to pick only the ripe ones, which are solid red and none of the green ones. And it also needs to be able to navigate our field with our elevated rows and other obstacles. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Thank you for tuning in. As you can see, I absolutely love my job as a farmer, and I can't wait for you to discover or create what you love to do. Let's rebuild the world one small change at a time. Bye, y'all.